Hello, my name is Dr. Troy Giles. I'm a doctor of chiropractic and today we're going to talk about arthritis, which is a, just a huge issue. Uh, most of us end up getting some kind of arthritis as we get older. And most everybody thinks, well, I got arthritis. It's a disease. It's something that I caught. I've got arthritis. It's now this big thing. When there's various types of arthritis, and the number one that I see, number one type of arthritis that I see is degenerative arthritis. And you know what? Let's go ahead and, and come over here, Tyler. Let's just see uh, what we've got here. Um, this would represent, or this is, a patient with scoliosis. And you can see how there's a curvature here. And what happens when there's malposition, malpositioning of the vertebra, either misaligned vertebra or a scoliotic curvature, is you're going to have degenerative change. It's going to degenerate automatically. There's nothing else you can do about it. But the degeneration takes place in the areas of concavity right here. This is convex over here, this is concave here. So there's more pressure where it compresses in here versus over here. These areas will degenerate and that's degenerative arthritis. According to Wolf's law, that's a law that we learned in medical school, Wolf, Dr. Wolf determined that the body will put calcium down in areas where there's pressure. Like a bunion, you'll start to get a bunion or deposition of calcium into a joint. A bunion happens to be on the big toe because of malpositioning of the foot, usually in pronation. It means the ankle's dropping over. Well, that causes a lot of pressure on that big joint of the big toe and deposition of calcium will start to, start to take place there. And now you've got a bunion. Same thing is happening over here where there's compression, you're going to start to have deposition of calcium and there'll start to be bone spurs, stalactites, if you will, of bone that will start to come off of those areas. That's why it's so vitally important to make sure that your spine works, that it's moving, that, it, that there's no areas of fixation or, excuse me, areas that are stuck. That's what we do with the pro adjuster and regular adjusting as chiropractors is we see where those areas are stuck. And then we're able to adjust them using the pro adjuster or regular adjusting and they will start to move. When they get stuck, when they get stuck, when it doesn't move the way that it should, degeneration will take place. So that's one type of arthritis is that degenerative arthritis. Another type of arthritis, let's go back over here again. Let's just move here. Another type of arthritis is the type when you have um, leaky gut syndrome. You're saying leaky gut syndrome, why would that create inflammation in my joints? Well, if we notice here, this is a pretty good you know what, before we go here, let's, let's come up here. Tyler, I'm going to hold this little picture up here. What this is, is intestinal health. These were made by a company called Metagenics. Uh, great company. What they show here is the integrity of the colon and how good it is as far as um, these are nice and tight. These fissures are nice and tight. The good bacteria, there's plenty of the good bacteria all around. The villi, these little fingers that absorb the nutrient, they're good and strong a good count of them. Where here, this is leaky gut syndrome. We've discussed this in previous issues, but, but leaky gut syndrome is where these large toxins or large fissures allow these toxins to pass through the colon and subsequently into the system. Also, you get various layers of infection like fungus, bacteria, parasites, and those can also translocate or go through these holes and now subsequently into the system. Now I'm going to come over here. Well, actually, I'll just pull this one off the wall. This would represent then two, two pictures. This is healthy function. This is abnormal function. If you look right here, a lot of toxins are coming through the colon. And what's happening is instead, normally what's happening is you're getting fat-soluble toxins, turning it into an intermediate, intermediate to water, and then out the kidney is water-soluble. That's how you should function. Over here, there's a lot of toxins passing through the liver. The liver gets overwhelmed, it can't handle it anymore, and the fat-soluble toxins don't conjugate. They don't come out of the kidney. They end up instead of going to the fat and to the brain. Now, this is what the picture looks like. I'm going to show you now this picture. This picture right here, this would represent the villi, those little fingers that were coming up in, into the colon. Right here, is nutrient. This would be your feces and your nutrients would be up in here. So you're starting to break down and digest the protein chains so that they're now one and two particles. Well if you get a leak right here these toxins are going to pass through the leak 
And now antibodies attract those antigens or those abnormal proteins that should not be in the blood supply. They should only be in the form of one or two uh, carbon chains. When they come through and form five carbon chains and larger, antibodies recognize them as abnormal and will, f will bind onto them to start to take care of them. When this happens, it creates inflammation. So now this blood supply has these what's what are called antigen antibody complexes. These can then filter out in the joints, in the tissues, in the in any in any organ. This would be a degenerative arthritis or a, an arthritic condition that would not be, um, let's say, a rheumatoid. You're not going to have the rheumatoid factor with this. You're just going to have joints that have joint junk in them in the form of panis. It's called panis or it would be like throwing sandpaper into the center of that joint. And that's coming in from leaky gut syndrome. So is arthritis a disease? In my opinion, no it is not. That sounds funny and I'll probably get chastised for that and, and mocked. But it's coming from a deeper cause. And, and generally speaking it would be coming from leaky gut syndrome. So heal the gut. Get it to where it's nice and tight like this. Once it's tight, it won't keep leaking toxins through. It's not going to leak those toxins through and into the liver. The liver gets overwhelmed. It can't get rid of the toxins. It sends it then onto the blood. The blood then has it go into the joints or into the tissues. And an overall inflammation takes place. So that's vital. Extremely, extremely vital. So if you have any questions, you can call the office and I'll answer any, anybody's question. Um, what we do as well here at the office is... Um, I do phone consultations where you can call up and I'll, and I'll do a phone consult and explain and talk to you about your own individual case and then suggest whatever supplementation we might need to heal whatever issue we're talking about. It just happens to be today is an overall arthritic issue. Um, getting rid of those layers of infection, they also can be in any joint. Um, many times we'll find the, the translocation of those, infect, those, those different infections can create inflammation there as well. So, I hope that's been, been beneficial for you. I know so many of you suffer with arthritis. Um, there is a reason for it and there is a, a cure for it, a, a, an ability to stop it in its track. So, until next time, have a great weekend. We, got the, we have Memorial Day coming up here on Monday, so hope you all have a great weekend. Talk to you next time.